Hello there. How did you find this place? What brought you here? I see. It speaks of something hidden. I promised to keep them safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. I'm sorry. I've got no time to talk. Jacob says you can be trusted, and that's good enough for me. Jacob said can you see anything come. from up there? We never recovered no, from the Soviets. To get the structure you want the whole thing to fall? Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause. But I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again, and we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. The wind picks up? Just keep your eyes out. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I need more wood for the fire. They needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers. We'll have to make do with what we have. Well, if they need arrowheads for the battle, then I need more firewood. I've already cut plenty. Besides, I don't know how much more ton you'll have left to forge. We can make points faster than broadcast. For a year I have ridden with an army of Mongols, as envoy from the Order of Trinity. The Khan is a great warlord, despite his heathen ways. Under my influence, I have helped them topple nations, burn cities and kill princes, all in search of the Prophet. Our slaughter of the Rus was not in vain, for among the spoils we at last found the map. And now, this very morning, after a season in the mountains, we saw buildings rising from a green valley surrounded by ice. We have found Kitesh. I tell the Khan of the riches that will be his, and that alone drives him on. But the real victory will be for God, when we purge the Prophet's lies from the earth, and at last the divine source will be ours. Fires still rage in the outer districts. 
The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. I'm sorry I can't help you right now. I need to get this generator fixed so we can send a message to the other side. I'll see if I can help elsewhere. Hello. We know what to do here. We've been waiting for this. You there. We could use some help if that's what you're here for. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders, and it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? I'll see what I can round up. Thank you. Bring them back to me when you found them. War is coming. We have to prepare. Ones. You scoffed at learning your letters. Said it had nothing to do with hunting. But that's your first lesson. Everything is connected. And I am always right. You clever students who saw the folly and stubbornness and can read this, here's your first assignment. Track. Hunt. And bring me back the pelt of one of the small creatures of the valley. Hairs you can find anywhere, night or day. Both the little brown ones in our valley and the snow hares in the peaks. The squirrels stick to the trees, and rain will drive them into their burrows. And if you see fit to seek the rats, look inside the ruins, or anywhere the dead still lie. Please, do not bring me a rat. Here is your lesson for today. Bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find Buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not fulfill the assignment.
There's got to be something down there. Astonishing. This architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. doing here a gold belt buckle decorative but strong and functional hmm it appears to be part of a military uniform I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save forgive her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city, far from me. My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. detail. Whoever made it, it's the equal of anything found in the Empire.
that should hold. Just need to find a way up. We are crippled by our isolation. We have with us the combined medical knowledge of the Empire, a millennia of learning that tells us how to treat every ailment. But here, on the edge of the world, the lack of one simple flower leaves us helpless. I cannot do much for the afflicted. I know how, but I cannot because we have hidden ourselves away. These people and many more that follow will die needlessly, all to keep our secret hidden. I pray the Prophet is right when he says that it will be worth it in the end. Looks to be a treatise on the connection between the body and the mind. Hello. You're not with the invaders. What brought you to this valley? Hello. Please be careful here. This is the last of the old transmitters that will work for uh, another time. So remote, yet so beautiful. Exactly. Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm telling you, you have to improvise for now. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, Meet me back here.
Have you visited the lower tower yet? Not yet, but I will. Sorry if Sophia was less than welcoming. I understand. I'm just glad you were there to vouch for me. My people have spent decades fighting outsiders. It's not an easy habit to break. See if you can lend a hand with the preparations. A little hard work would go a long way towards building trust. I'll see what I can do. There. Maybe you'll be able to help us with these machines. What can I do? These invaders have a new tool to threaten us with. 
Small helicopters piloted by machine. Drones, they tell me. The things don't fight back, but they've got what looks like a camera inside. They're mapping the valley, and we're losing our advantage. I've been able to bring a few of them down, but with those weapons, I expect you'll have better luck. Will you help? I'll bet I can take a few of them down. The more, the better. Come see me again when they're dealt with.
Have you dealt with the rest of those machines? I think I got the last of them. That you did. They may send more, but at least we can make it hard on the bastards. We're grateful for your help. They will likely come from the air. Jacob is assembling fighters in the upper village to draw their attention there. The children and those too old to fight will be safely hidden in the Acropolis catacombs. I will go there once things are in hand here. You said they were heavily armed. How can we expect to beat them? The fight will not be won in open combat. They will hit us hard and fast, and we will take losses. They hope to crush us in their initial assault, but we will turn their eagerness into our advantage. This will be a long engagement. If we hope to survive, we must wear them down slowly, strategically. We will bleed them from a hundred cuts until they have nothing left. Only then will be victorious. For now, we light the fire. Warn the others in the valley. Today, we win by survival. Gather as much ammunition and supplies as you can. Hide them in the caves and ruins. When you've completed your duties, rendezvous. Trinity being here, the people they're hurting, that's down to me. I led them here. God, it's happening again, isn't it? People are suffering because of my actions. No. No, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Trinity would have found this place sooner or later. At least I have the chance to help stop them, of getting to the Divine Source first and using it to benefit the world, rather than cause more pain and suffering. Just need to focus for everyone who's gone before, for everyone I've lost. Just keep moving. <laughs> 